Hi, I'm Dr. James, and I gotta tell you, right out of the gate, I got my coffee in front of me. And this is a tough one for me, because over the last 20 years, I've been back and forth on whether or not I believe that coffee is a good bet for your overall health and well being. But today I'm making a declaration. It's an honor of Starbucks actually raising their prices on coffee. It starts today. And what science is telling us, coffee seems to be a very good idea in moderation for your overall health and well-being. Couple studies that really were very intriguing to me. Number one, coffee drinkers seem to have a lower risk for type two diabetes. They lower the risk for basal cell carcinoma. They also increase their metabolism. Helps to burn fat, that's a cool thing. It's probably the caffeine there. And along with that, which is really interesting to me, people who drink coffee four cups a day lower their risk for depression by 20%. And I think about the times when I've walked in to a Starbucks or a great coffee shop, I kind of watch people walk in, they have a certain mood, certain disposition, but when they get their cup of coffee, just watch the way they walk out. Their whole body language is changing. It's smiles on their face. So I think it's a lot to do with the fact that they've got that, uh, that ritual intact, but also a lot of what's going on with the antioxidants and the overall support that coffee seems to offer. So. Today, in honor of the prices going up, I also want to encourage you to be a conscious coffee consumer. Fair trade, organic, shade grown, do the right thing when you're choosing your coffee and toast to your mood, to your metabolism, and your overall health and well-being. Cheers to your health.